In this movie, you're going to see how we can create topography from polylines. Polylines are continuous lines that are drawn usually in AutoCAD or a DWG file, but they might also be created from applications like Autodesk Civil 3D, where you can export the data from your terrain model and create just a separate DWG file with the contours in that. You might receive a drawing like this from a civil engineer or from a surveyor. We're going to begin with the DWG file, and I'll begin by just explaining how the DWG file is, is structured. The location of the site itself is St. Louis, Missouri, and this, is, this example is from a book called Sun, Wind and Light. In that book, you're showing how to create the terrain model, maybe using cork or styrofoam, and then how to uh, anticipate what the shadow patterns are going to be on the site itself. So we're going to do digitally what they're doing manually in that actual uh, example. The big picture here is that we're beginning with polylines from CAD, or a CAD, CAD file, uh, to create our model. And then we're going to simulate and visualize the passage of the sun uh, for a specific site, uh, giving us a, a result that we can then analyze and make decisions based on uh, say the shadow patterns that are shown on the site itself. This is the AutoCAD drawing that's going to be used to create the topo surface inside Revit, which will then be used for shadow studies. Uh, what I want to show is just that the, the majority of problems that you have are because the, the drawing itself is not clean, uh, the, the DWG file. So just to show the structure of this, is that information is organized according to the different layers. And you see that if I turn off a layer, um, it'll, it'll hide the information that was on it. So really what I've got is the contours are drawn on two layers. And then there's a grid line that is a 50 foot grid line um, that I'm going to use just to trim the edges of the site. So if I turn those back on again, you've got most of the data there that, that and you see that they're actually it is three dimensional so the last thing i want to show in here is that if i pick say a, a polyline that was drawn in autocad if i look in the properties palette there it shows me the elevation value 21 feet so i'm going to take this and i'm going to bring this into the revit file 